Good morning. Welcome to the children's chapel. Um, let's see. This morning I want to talk about our reading that comes to us from 1 Corinthians. Uh, I want to focus in on a particular verse, uh, but then I'm going to tell you the story of uh, the, that story from Corinthians. Uh, so the particular verse says that knowledge puffs up. But love builds up. Um, I think that's really an important way to think about our lives. So let me read to you the whole story. It, it sounds kind of random. It's talking about food. Um, it says, Now concerning food, sacrifice to idols. We know that all of us possesses knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Anyone who claims to know something does not yet have the necessary knowledge. But anyone who loves God is known by him. Hence, as to the eating of food offered to idols, we know that no idol in the world really exists, and, there, and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there may be so-called gods in heaven or on earth, as in fact there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is one God, the Father from whom all things and for whom we exist, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all things and through whom we exist. It's not everyone, however, who has this knowledge, since some have been too accustomed to idols until now. They still think of the food they eat as food offered to the idols, and their conscience being weak is defiled. Food will not bring us close to God. We are no worse off if we do not eat it, and no better off if we do. But take care that this liberty of yours does not somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. For if others see you who possess knowledge, eating in the temple of an idol, might they not, since their conscience is weak, be encouraged to the point of eating food sacrificed to idols? So by your knowledge, those weak believers from whom Christ died are destroyed. But when you thus sin against members of your family and wound their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food is a cause of their falling, I will never eat meat so that I may not cause one of them to fall. Sorry, that was a long story. But I think it's important, you know, knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Um, to say that, you know, we don't all live the same way. We don't all have the same kind of knowledge. We're not all, you know, brought up in the same way. But it is not our obligation to look onto others and think that we're better than them because we're different. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. It's our job to love one another, to look to others and say, yeah, we might be different. Here might be a better way of doing something. Here might be a better way of living. It's not our job to turn our noses on down at them. So, knowledge puffs up, love builds up. Amen. Kids, it's stand up now. It's time to say together the Nicene Creed, which will come up on your screen uh, with me. So, you ready? Here we go. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, <clears throat> begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. <clears throat> he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. 
and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Well done, kid. God, we give you thanks for this time and the chance to worship together. We look forward to the time when we can all be together in the choir room once again. Now be with us as we join our parents once again for the prayers of the people for today. In your name we pray. <laughs> 